with Adventure Time. Oh, oh. I didn't think Songbird would appreciate me rummaging through her things. A detective culls. Someone liked their murder mysteries. Songbird, I'm sorry. For what? That your husband is dead. Hey, win some, lose some. That's pretty harsh. Look, stranger. You told me your secret, so I'll tell you mine. Last few years, Graham gave up trying to be anything other than the dullard he really was. If it weren't for the kudos for being married, I'd have dumped him months ago. You're new here, so a word of advice? You want to win in Union City? Learn the rules and play the game. My name's Foster, by the way. Robert Foster. Songbird. Is there anything more you can tell me about Graham? Not much. He was a loner whose only friends were idiots like him. Could Graham have had anything to do with kidnapping? For both our sakes, I hope not. Tell me more about Graham. Why do you want to know? I think he might have been involved in something. What do you mean? I came to Union City from the Gap because I was investigating a mysterious... Oh, for Joey's sake, not you too. Blah, blah, conspiracy, blah, blah, giant dog. Graham was the perfect husband until he started getting crazy ideas. Why couldn't he just have an affair like a normal person? Who's this contact you mentioned? Bad news, as far as my kudos level is concerned. What do you mean? Graham was always rambling on about this hacker friend of his. Had a daft name. Leet, I think. Any idea where I could find Leet? Probably somewhere up top, with the other degenerates. If I were you, I'd stay away. Did Leet? Believe? <laughs> Pretty sure he's where Graham got him from. Bad influence all round. Graham was a conspiracy theorist? Always was. But before he went missing, he really changed. He became... secretive. He used to close the terminal whenever I came into the room. That's not that strange. And he started spending a lot of time in the bathroom. And then he just... disappeared. Okay, that's the weird bit. What's with the Alonso guy? Guy? I believe you're referring to Mentor Alonso from the Ministry of Well-Being. He's a high-ranking official. And we've just lied straight to his face. Quite the team, huh? If he knew what's really going on, I'd dread to think how far my kudos would plummet. And what about me? Arrested, deported, I don't know, not important. What were you saying about kudos? Were you born yesterday? Let's just say I'm new here. Okay, newbie. Here's how it works in Union City. Be a good example, stay happy, and you get kudos. Which you... spend? Well, kinda, but not really. The higher your kudos level, the lower you are in the city. Simple. So kudos is... bad? Aren't you listening? Lower. Lower is better. So you need a higher kudos to get lower? Of course. That industrial pit up there hovers over me like a storm cloud. And this middle level is simply beneath me. 
I think I understand what you mean. But the lower level... Now, they are my kind of people. They've got standards that you don't see enough of around here. How can I raise my kudos level? With kudos, obviously. So how do I get more kudos? Hmm, well, isn't that just the question? Like I said, be happy, get points. But how can you be happy when you've just found out your husband is dead? You think I'm not sad on the inside? No one's gonna give me a medal for having a dead husband. But... Let's talk about something else, eh? My points have already dipped way too much today, thanks to you. Looks like Graham was quite the photographer. Oh, he was dreadful. At first I thought he was an artist. Then I found out he used those ridiculous antique cameras. It took hours to see the finished photographs. And he took forever fussing with the lighting. The only good thing about his photographs is that I'm in most of them. What do you know about the council? They run the city. You know, like they always have since Joey left. Can I speak to them? <laughs> Not with Graham's ID, you can. That's all for now. Yeah, bye. Jasmine. A collection of toy animals were lined up in little baskets. One was missing. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, Songbird? Hey, stranger. Are you a collector? What? Toys. You have quite the collection. Oh, yes. The whole set of cuddly kitties. Even the limited edition Mama Bear from five years back. Well, I did have the whole set, at least. Did something happen? Bartleby went missing, that's what. I asked Graham about it and he denied all knowledge. Then, when I tried to use the Mama Bear tracker to find dear Bartleby, he threw her across the room. Clumsy. Clumsy? Those bears were my engagement gift. He hid Bartleby just to spite me. Graham had taken Songbird's toy Bilby, but I couldn't figure out what he'd have wanted with it. Wherever he'd gone, Graham clearly didn't want to be tracked. What's a Mama Bear tracker? What do you think? It tracks her babies. Her babies? The cuddly kiddies. Most toys in Union City are tracker enabled. Lost toys mean screaming babies, unless you got a tracker. Mind if I have a look at the tracker? Go ahead, though the screen is broken. Squeeze the left ear to turn it on. What does Bartley Bilby look like? Bartleby is a bilby. Adorable, long ears. Like a bandicoot and a rabbit all rolled into one. At least he was, before he went missing. Bye, Songbird. Yeah, bye. It looked like Graham had taken Bartleby and didn't want it tracked. I had a hunch that he had taken it to Leet, but had no idea why. The device was now on, but with the screen broken, I'd need to find another way to get at the data. I wondered why Graham had taken a children's toy. Hello there. I'm Mama Bear. Hi. Mama Bear looks after all the cuddly kitties. Are you looking for one of my children? I'm looking for Bartleby Bilby. Don't worry, child. 
Look at my tummy to find your missing friend. The device was on, but the screen was still blank and broken. The shelf was loaded with books on management, business theory, and military strategy. Hi. Mom, are you looking for one of my children? Carl. Don't worry. Ch Cavalcade of cre Someone believed in monster stories. Hi. Mom, are you looking for one of my children? I'm looking for... Don't worry. Hey, don't touch that. I will not have any industrial runoff coming into my house, thank you very much. Hi. Mama, are you looking for one of my children? I'm looking. Don't worry. The plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. All I needed to do was locate the area code E1594. Find the tracker, find Leet. Excuse me. What is it, Graham? Any idea where the area code E1594 refers to? E1594? What would I know about an old area code? Old? The monopod system has taken care of transport for years. You sure you don't know where to find E1594? The monopod system has taken care of transport for years. 
Thanks. Yeah, but... Water tank depleted. The seal had been vandalized. Poor Joey. Dear me, a terrible situation. Very troubling indeed. Mentor, given your experience, your input here would be greatly appreciated. Orana, isn't it? You strike me as a fine young officer of the Ministry of Well-Being. Would you say that's an accurate description? I'm flattered, sir. Your record is exemplary, I believe. I do my best, sir. I'm sure you do. So please, don't let me down. Fix this mess. Mess? You mean the girl? The whole untidy situation. Yes, sir. At a girl. <laughs> Keep a smile on your face. After all, it's aspiration day, isn't it? The happiest day of the year. I'll take care of it, sir. I know you will. By the way, a call to pest control wouldn't go amiss. Of course, sir. Meanwhile, I shall isolate this area until this unfortunate incident has been resolved. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your advice. <laughs> We're all here to learn from each other. Take care now. Miss! Pardon me, miss! Who, me? <laughs> hey! You can see forever up here! You know, be free! Miss, you have to be careful. Careful or care less? <laughs> I know which one I want to be. Why don't you come down, yes? Miss Dijon, is that right? Raquel Dijon. Yeah! <laughs> That's... me. I... I think... Raquel! Raquel? Did you say Raquel? You need to come down. What? Where am I? Oh no! Help! Help! Hearing her name had triggered a total change in the girl's behavior. I needed to find a way to get her down before she fell. Excuse me. Ah, Master Grundy. What joy to see Sir again after all this time. Would that the circumstances were better. I dare say the young artist is in somewhat of a pickle. Certainly looks that way. The poet laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire sends his regards and or condolences as appropriate. How nice of you, Reginald. Correction, sir. If one may be so bold, Mr. Schnipple is, of course, sir's human neighbor. How, sir, might mistake yours truly, Tarquin, for our beloved poet laureate is beyond imagining. Any idea where I might find a place called E1594? That sounds like an area code, and not one I would venture into. How so? It would be extremely inappropriate for a gentleman to visit Sector E. What should we do about that girl? We should inform the Ministry of Well-Being. But the Ministry is already here. How very efficient! The missive was only sent a moment ago. Can you think of a way of getting that girl down? Gravity should do the job soon enough. That's rather harsh. Oh, did Sir mean get her down safely? What do you think about... As an artiste, I find any medium a valid form of expression. Of course, the vandalism does somewhat detract from the piece. See you later, Tarquin. Will I? Huh? It's just a phrase. Shall we schedule in another meeting? I don't think that's necessary. Such ambiguity. A tortured soul. Alas, I am inspired.
Are you okay? No! I don't know how I got up here! Raquel! Raquel Dijon! Don't panic! I'm from the Ministry of Wellbeing! How can we help? Nothing to see here, sir. I suggest you go back inside and enjoy some screen-based entertainment. Excuse me? I'd like to make a complaint. Please, both of you. I'm a welfare officer. I know how to deal with this kind of problem. I just need to check the negotiation protocol. Well, thank goodness the Ministry is on this. It's all very distracting. Can you see any way down from there? No! Okay, we'll see what we can do from here. Can you see any... No! Okay, we'll see what we can do from here. How did you get up there? I don't know! Please! I'm frightened! She climbed the outside of the building. Astounding agility, by the way. Most impressive. I don't remember! Bravo, miss! Sit tight. We'll soon have you down. Don't worry, we'll get you down safely. Please stop making promises. Who's the welfare officer here? From that height, the girl wouldn't fare much better than the can. This particular spot seemed popular with the local birds. Was a hand scanner. Raquel! Help! Please! Don't worry. And soon. 
commencing refill. Water refill complete. Spray, please stand back. Raquel! Help! Please! Anyone got it? Yes! Go on. Never use a simile when a metaphor suggests. What? I'm in the middle of composing an Aspiration Day poem, but my lexiconic cupboard is bare, so to speak. Hence the requirement for. Wait, is this idea about your poem? Well,. Yes. You asked if anyone had an idea. You were not specific to the context. Don't worry, we'll get you down safely. Commencing spray, please stand back. Water tank depleted. From that height, the girl wouldn't fare much better than the can. Commencing refill. Raquel! Help! Please! Can you see any way down from... I, I don't know! It's not like I can fly like that cleaning robot! Think you can get on the robot when it passes? I, I could try, but, but what if... We'll catch you. You can do it. I rather doubt she can. Can't you try and be more encouraging? You have a reasonably good eye for aesthetics! Thank you! Now, grab on tight. We'll be right underneath you. You'll be fine. Human grip strength is famously reliable. Only in short bursts. Okay, here goes. How do you feel, Raquel? Are you okay? I... I don't know. Well, I'm glad that's all sorted. Shall I call a pod for her? I've got it from here, thank you. Raquel, what were you even doing up there? I, I don't know. I, I don't really remember... anything. The girl looked glad to be back on solid ground. Excuse me? Mr. G Mr. Grundy? 
Bravo, Mr. Grundy. Your actions in this situation were sublime, albeit unconventional. The local noise levels have already returned to normal, and the building will soon sparkle again. I'm more concerned about the girl. Is she gonna be okay? Yes, yes, blah, 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 and all that. Officer, wouldn't you say that Mr. Grundy's actions today warrant a kudos boost, hmm? Of course. Thank you for the suggestion. Tarquin, miss. Orana. Orana Newblood. Yeah, like the guy said. Graham Grundy. Mr. Grundy? Does the location E1594 mean anything to you? Well, E1594? That's just an area code based on the old map system. Totally obsolete. That system hasn't been used for years. E1594 was an obsolete code. There had to be a way of finding that location. Raquel, is she always like that? What do you mean? Well, I met her earlier and she seemed like a totally different person. She's been through a big ordeal. Nothing that a trip to the Reflection Spa won't sort out. What is the Reflection Spa? What is the... Are you feeling okay, Graham? Everyone this side of the industrial level has heard of Reflections. Oh, you mean that Reflection Spa? It's been a long day. Next, you'll be asking me to tell you about this Joey guy. No, no, I'm familiar. So, do you work here? I'm an officer for the Ministry of Wellbeing. You often have to talk girls off high ledges? My first one. You did a good job. Thanks. I'm on the trail of a missing kid called Milo. I think he's somewhere in Union City. That shouldn't be difficult. Any greeter terminal will be able to find him via U-chip. No, that won't help. He was brought here from the Gap. That's not possible. I assure you. Where did you say you worked, Mr. Grundy? That'd be the Ministry of Comfort. I suggest you concentrate on your work and leave well-being issues to the appropriate ministry. How is the girl doing? She'll be fine. This sort of trauma is best handled at the Reflection Spa. Will she be in trouble for the graffiti? Well, no real harm done. The droid will clean it up, eventually. That said, her kudos rating will take a hit. All because she defaced Joey? People loved Joey, and what he did for us. Joey was my friend. We did so much together. Well, he might be gone, but he's not forgotten. You can find out about our savior at the Museum of New History. You mentioned I could find out about Joey in a museum? Yes. The Museum of New History has exhibits about how he transformed the city. I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to learn about him and his legacy. A museum dedicated to Joey? He'd be proud of that for sure. Well, it's not all Joey. They have a special exhibit about the previous administration. Old technology, maps, that sort of thing. My advice, though, is to avoid dwelling on the past. Anyway, taking in some culture is good for you. Find it at the piazza if you get the chance. I guess I should get going. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. I suppose I should thank you too. No problem. You take care. You too, Mr. Grundy. If you need any well-being support, just ask for me at a greeter terminal. Orana Newblood. Come on, Raquel. Let's get you to the spa. You'll be feeling better in no time. No need to worry, Raquel. You're safe now. Happy faces all round, right? In fact, this calls for a... a celebration. It is Aspiration Day, after all. Oh, goodness. Is it? All day. And you know what would be the best end to a day like this? A trip to the Reflection Spa. I'll pull a string or two, and we'll get you straight to the front of the line. I had a lead, a map reference, E1594. Graham had put a tracker there. Maybe it was the key to finding his hacker friend, Leet. Pod has been requested. Please wait for embarkation. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham.
Hi. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? Do you know where I'd find E1594? I do not recognize E1594. I think it's an obsolete city location code. I see. Would you like to sign up for a course in the history of Union City's geographical referencing? Uh, thanks, but I don't have the time for that. Shame. I hear it's enthralling. Where can I find out about E1594? Have you tried an old map? Do you have one? Of course not. I do not care for legacy data. I'm part of the new, shinier Union City. Thank you. Until the next time. City wishes all citizens a happy Aspiration Day. And you've been keeping up with your daily polls? You bet. I can't wait to find out about the new Spankles flavor of the month. Don't forget to vote for the new elected officials. <laughs> Whatever. Spankles! Anyway, I'm pleased to see your well-being in such good shape. Mr. Grundy, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Busy day, huh? I'll say. Raquel is over in the reflection spa as we speak. She'll be back to normal in no time. I thought you'd want to know. Thanks for looking after her. No, thank you. You showed some real quick thinking back there. Now, how can I help you? This is quite the place, isn't it? The piazza? You make it sound like you've never seen it before. Oh no, I mean there's a certain something in the air, isn't there? That's Aspiration Day for you. Just wait for tonight's celebrations. They'll be amazing. As usual, I'm sure. Thanks, Orana. Have a great Aspiration Day, Mr. Grunt. Orana seemed to be stationed all over the city. I needed to stay in her good books if I were to maintain my disguise. Wishes all citizens a happy afternoon. Leet was my only lead to discovering Graham's connection to the stalker. And the obsolete map reference E1594 was the only lead I had to finding Leet. As I surveyed the room, I was greeted by a familiar face. Hello, darling! It was a hologram of Danielle Piermont, a friend from when I last came to Union City. The centerpiece of the whole museum was a synthetic arm. I recognized it. It was Joey's. He'd lost it in our fight against Link all those years ago. Alert. <gasps> look, look, look! Over here! Dad? Do you have to be so loud? The arm! Isn't it amazing? Seemed like I wasn't the only one Sesame. interested in the Joey arm. Didn't I promise? Didn't I say I'd bring you here? You did. Hold on. Cecily, I think someone wants to talk to you. What? Dad, he's clearly... What's that, Joey? Coming! Dad, not... Oh. Uh, you'll have to excuse my dad. He's very dedicated to Joey. The man was totally absorbed by the waving arm. Hello there. Good day, friend. Are you here to walk with Joey? I've walked with Joey before. He had treads at the time. Yes. When you tread with Joey, you become one with happiness. How do you walk with an arm? 
You don't walk, walk with him. You walk with him in here. I think you're probably walking with him up there. Oh, the mine's always on Joey, that's for sure. Say, I'm looking for a specific location. An obsolete area code E1594. Is there a map around here somewhere? A map around here? I don't think so. Unless you mean the map in the old history exhibit. Well, that counts. Well, in that case, you're in luck. There is one in the old history exhibit. How it was before the Joey era. It's like staring into oblivion. But of course, without a brooch, they won't let you in. Is that a social climber aspiration brooch? Ah, I know a real savior craver when I see one. I'm proud to be one of the biggest social climbers in the past 30 days. And the 30 days before that. Such an honor. Sorry, I made you drag that out of me a bit. I'm just never sure where Joey stands on humility. Oh, I say he's rather flexible. If I wanted to get inside the old history exhibit, this brooch would be the key. How can I get one of those brooches? Just be a good citizen. Every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and all night long. And then wake up and do it again tomorrow. I'm not sure I have time for that. Could you give me your aspiration brooch? I couldn't. They're issued specifically to social climbers. Could you lend me yours? Uh, no can do. Only the highest kudos social climbers are allowed into the old history exhibit. You are not worthy. According to the council, that is. Is that girl your daughter? She is indeed. My precious Cecily. We're a big, happy, Joey-loving family. Ah, oh, that's nice. Is it a large family? Oh, no. Since my wife left, it's just me and Cecily. Oh. I'm sorry. She ran off with some rich industrialist. Wore a nice coat, though. I forgive him, of course, but I'm not sure that our savior could ever do the same. So that's your daughter, huh? She is indeed, my precious Cecily. I better go and admire something. Happy Aspiration Day! Now, if you might stand aside so the savior and I can have a little us time. Just me and the hand. Union City. Excuse me. Oh, hey. Wow, you look different. What do you mean? Your outfit. It's so... Rugged? I was just gonna say weird. If mine's weird, what color is yours supposed to be? Duh. It's perinickel margarine. It's like Tuesday's happiest color. Where are you even from? You'd never believe me. This museum visit just got way more interesting. I'll be darned if that isn't an aspiration brooch. Great! Another social climber! You should speak to my dad. You don't sound too proud of your achievement. What, me? No, it's my dad who earned the kudos, obviously. Talk to him if you want to know who to impress. Then, how did you get yours? Oh, dad got a second one. Bring a friend or something. So they're transferable? Technically, yes. Hey, listen, I know we just met, but I really was hoping to get one of those brooches. Need to check out the old history exhibit. Let me guess. You were hoping I'd give you mine. That's right. No offense, but you don't seem as... evangelical as most Joey freaks. What's back there that's so important to you? Do you ever feel like you're not being given the whole truth about the city? You mean, how perfect everything is? Yeah. Sometimes it does seem a bit... Ridiculous? Yeah, I mean, who'd fall for this Savior Joey nonsense? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I don't think my dad would like me talking to you. I'd better go back to the self-improvement and the learning. It's really important that I get that brooch. So you keep saying. But you don't seem like the reverent type. What do you really think of this place? Awesome? To live in a paradise like this, I mean. Yeah. Paradise. 
That's definitely the word for it. Hey, I'm gonna go check out some other exhibits. See you around. I really... So, what do you really think of this place? If I were a cynic, I might call some of it a little unbelievable. Don't say that around my dad. He really buys into all this stuff. Hey, listen, you and me, we're on the same wavelength here. And it's a different wavelength than my father. He does seem very devout. Right? And honestly, just staring at an old arm gets dull. You can just walk out, but I'm stuck here. And you can just go into the back while I can't. I'll make a deal with you. You give my dad a reason to leave, and I'll give you this dumb thing. You in? Okay, I'm in. That brooch in exchange for your freedom. Finally. Praise Joey. Praise? Yes, praise Joey. The girl had agreed to give me her aspiration brooch if I could somehow get her father to leave the museum. Wishes all citizens a happy aspiration. This mini K is yours if you want it. Oh, no thanks. I'm fasting. Well, that's commitment. Till when? Just until I get a sign from Joey. Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Savior's name, the council formed the five ministries that continue to guide. Hello again. Hi, ah, it's you. What sort of sign are you looking for? At this point, anything. I've been such a devoted citizen, putting Joey first above everything. My job, my wife and daughter, all second to Joey, just as he would have wanted. But now, I worry I'm straying off the path. Ever thought about a counselor? But who would deliver better counsel than the Savior himself? What are you hoping to learn from the arm? The next step to take to a bright future. My vocation, my journey, destiny. And I'm nearly there. I've never seen the arm act so erratically until today. And what if you don't like what it has to say? Who am I to judge the will of Joey? This guy wasn't going anywhere without a sign from Joey. I had a feeling, without my intervention, he'd be waiting a while. Is the arm... I think it's telling me to calm down. I always get overly excited about these things. What if you never get a sign? Then I shall never leave. I better go and... admire. a happy aspiration day. Greetings, citizen. We are the council, your democratically elected representatives. Savior Joey leashed the oppressor Link to serve and protect the people and founded the council to restore the rule of democracy. His work complete, he departed the city to spread his wisdom to the savage peoples of the world. You happy. I am the Minister for Comfort. I'm sure the city is clean and all amenities work for your comfort to make you happy. Oh. Who saved 
us from starving in sadness and hate. Savior, show we citizens a happy aspiration day. Put clothes on our backs. Wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Hello again. Ah, it's you. Is the arm telling you anything at the moment? You see that? Joey sure is excited. Yeah! Go, Joey! What if you never get a sign? Then I shall never leave. I keep a Warning citizen, warning citizen, cleaning route is active. Aspiration Day. Hello again. Ah, it's you. Is the arm telling you anything at the moment? I think he's trying to give me a high five. What else could it mean, right? What if you never get a sign? Then I shall never leave. I better go and keep a smile. Aspiration. Union City wishes all citizens. Day. The guy was looking for a sign from the Joey arm. I wondered if I could help. City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Union City wishes all citizens a Boost your mood and your aspirations! <laughs> Doctors agree, just two cans a day! Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day! Yeah. 
Oppressor Link. Their voices cried out for help. Union City wishes all citizens a happy Operation Day! Hello again. Huh, it's you. Is the arm telling you anything at the moment? I'm not exactly sure. It's gone kind of funky. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's profound. I better go and... Keep a smile. Union City, isn't it? We invite you to salute the people of Asio City, our faraway friends and valued members of the Union Group. Unstinting and determined cooperation has allowed both cities to grow to become the richest cities in the world. We stand together, refuting the fake news spread by Hobart in their attempt to undermine our unity. Union City wishes all citizens a happy Aspiration Day. In the Savior's name, the Council formed the Five Ministries. Hello again. Huh, it's you. Is the arm telling you anything at the moment? He's beckoning me closer. He wishes to tell me something. He's about to give me the answer. I can almost feel it. Oh, Joey, I am listening. I better go and admire something. Happy Aspiration Day! Union City wishes all citizens a happy Aspiration Day! I did to maximize my kudos. Why have you forsaken me? I worked so hard. I did every... That's okay, Dad. It's all all right. But Cecily... I just don't understand. Come on now, Dad. Let's go get you a nice can of Spankles at the cafe. Yes. Yes, I think that'll do the trick. I think it's time I tried that new flavor. I very much enjoyed our talk today, mystery man. It's been... eye-opening. I'm glad we could reach an arrangement, miss. Featherbottom. Cecily Featherbottom. Best aspiration day ever. Here you go. A deal's a deal. Until we meet again, may the light and wisdom of Savior Joey smile upon you. Happy Aspiration Day. Welcome to the Old History Exhibit, young lady. The gruesome tendrils pulsed ominously. The product of Link, an experimental fusion of man with computer that had ended in tyranny. The information droid will be with you shortly. This holographic map. The robot was a repository of information about all the exhibits. City, according to Joey's guidance, with new council of a giant holographic map of Union City, as it was ten years ago. If I could get the map to display area E1594, I would find the building where I suspected Graham had met with Leet.
waving my crowbar around in public wasn't going to achieve anything. Ten years ago, I'd used the old underground system to reach the heart of Link. Union City still had some pretty backward views on the gap. The information droid will be with you shortly. The robot was a repository of information about all the exhibits. Analyzing Union City according to Joey's guidance. approved technology every citizen can find the old link terminal had long since stopped working the wiring to the hand scanner had been ripped out it was never going to work I'd had a run-in with this tech all those years ago I hoped Union City had gone in a more sustainable direction. An old barrel transporter robot. Those robots always gave me the creeps. This city synth garbage would never compete with the stuff back in the Gap. Oi! What are you doing over there? What? Who? Me? Yeah, you! I was, um, just giving the machine a checkup. Good luck with that. Lost calls if I ever saw one. Meanwhile, why don't you get back to enjoying the exhibits? Quietly. That's why you're here, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I just can't get enough of old history. Many years ago, Spunky had helped me in my quest to defeat Link. I was... glad to see that he had gotten the respect he deserved. The Joey Speaks looked like a gimmick, but I couldn't pass the opportunity to hear my old buddy's voice again. scanner looked broken. I doubted I'd be able to use it anytime soon. The information droid will be with you shortly. These humble scraps of primitive circuitry house the spark that would become our beloved savior, Joey. Many the wiring to the hand scanner had been ripped out. It was never going to work. Immaculate assembly. If I wanted to see what this was all about, I was going to have to get it back up and running. This attraction is currently closed after complaints of language of a most unsavior-like nature.